Okay, hello and welcome Aries to your monthly tarot and astrology reading for December 2022. My name is Jeff. I'm an astrologer and intuitive reader here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV. This is a general reading for your sun, moon, or rising sign. It may resonate with you or not. No problem. Take what you need and leave the rest. I'd like to thank you for all your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button and support us here at Raise Your Vibration TV. All right, Aries, so let's begin. First of all, we're getting your cards ready. I already picked an angel gods and goddesses card. Um, that is going to be a final message from your angels and your guides. Um, and we're going to do a monthly reading. So we're going to incorporate tarot and astrology into your reading. I'm really excited about that. So we've got your cards ready. Let's go ahead and take a look at the astrology for the beginning of December. So for Aries, right out of the gate, things are going to start becoming a lot clearer because Neptune is going to go in direct motion. It's been retrograde for a while. So Usually when that happens, that means that the fog lifts. Things start to become a lot more clear in life. So right out of the gate, things are going to start looking a lot more clearer for you, Aries. So what we've got going on here, let's do the first row of cards, if I could, please. All right, thank you, angels, spirits, and guides. Can I get three cards for Aries? Okay, that's one. Can I get two more, please? Excellent. All right. So what we've got to start with here is right out of the first week, what we've got here is that the Empress shows somebody that actually has a really good idea. This is also somebody that is very grounded, that is almost becoming more caring and more receptive to what's going on, um, becoming more in tune with themselves and their body. Justice shows that things are going to balance out. Like I said earlier, Neptune is going direct. So it's like the fog lifts. Things start to balance out. The thing is, is that you may be placing too much judgment on what's going on in the situation at the beginning of December. So basically, we, we, we've got the Justice, the Empress, and the Judgment card here. So that could be meaning something with like, getting things in order as far as legalities, anything like that. This could also be getting ready for a lawsuit, something like that, right out of the gate, Aries. But what's going on here is it's to take a grounded, practical approach. So let's get three more cards and continue. Because right at, right at the beginning, at the end of the beginning of December, the first week, so right after that last week, we're going to be having a full moon on December 7th. And that full moon's going to be in Gemini, and that affects your third house of communication. So there may be some, uh, like I said, maybe legal issues. Thank you. We got three cards right here. All right, there is going to be a message coming through. You've got to trust your intuition that it is. Again, this may be, you know, Aries, sometimes I think you're a little too hard on yourself. And you've really got to balance that out. And as you can see in both these cards, both of these, these uh, people here have their eyes closed. And when the scales balance out, this girl's eyes are open. So, and actually this girl's eyes really are not closed. They, she can see even with her eyes being closed. It's, it's a pretty cool effect that this card has, if you can see that. But what this is saying is a lot of closed eyes here. So what I see is don't close yourself off. You know what I mean? If there is something that you need to communicate, you need to get that through because this is about your... Uh, affecting the full moon in your house of th the third house, which is communications, so on and so forth. So if there's messages that you're waiting for, they're coming. The thing is, is that I, I don't want you to cast any judgment or anxiety about yourself. Like, oh, this was my fault. Because I'm going to tell you something. As the month progresses, 
things are going to be getting in a lot better in a, in a much better position for you because right now things almost seem like they're on hold like the opportunities are there but it's just not time yet as we get to the middle of the month that's where it's going to score big right before christmas you're going to have jupiter move back into your sign that is also going to be going forward so uh, that actually happens December 20th, so Jupiter is moving into your sign. The last time that it, that it actually first came into your sign, before it started doing all these back and forths in and out of Pisces and into Aries, was June of 2010. So maybe there's a situation that happened around 2010 that may be seeming to finally re the opportunity to resolve itself. But you got to be confident that the 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 judgment is going to be in your favor don't feel like this is going to work against you yeah i almost feel like you may be putting too much pressure on yourself in this situation and it will kind of mess up the outcome so just be aware of that you know look at the balance of life don't look at the imbalance but there is definitely messages coming through. Oh, that card flew all the way across the room. Of course, I'm going to go grab that. But let me get two more cards first. All right, good. One more. Thank you. All right. I'm going to grab that card really quick. Hold on. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. So we've got the Emperor the king of pentacles and the king of swords very interesting this is very telling so what this is showing is that in whatever situation that pans out here in december that has to do with balancing things out finally things going in your favor what i think you need to do is have an air of confidence because these three cards right here the emperor the king of pentacles the king of swords these are all three individuals and they don't have to be gender specific, but it, it's kind of proving the point here that we need to step up in a place of authority and areas you can do that. We don't command respect. We get respect in our actions and how our energy is. If we act like we have the winning piece in the game, we will win the game. The King of Pentacles is very grounded, very educated, very... Uh, prosperous. Uh, th this could be starting a business. Maybe you're trying to start that business. Maybe the funds have are finally starting to come in, but it just hasn't happened yet. Maybe this is about a relationship that you want to, to have to come to, into your life. But what I think it's trying to show is not to beat yourself up so much, but to stand with confidence and authority. And it, you're going to have to change the way that you look at this situation too have an eagle eye view. I'm going to be making a motivational video about the eagle and all his qualities and what makes him a superior bird versus all the other ones. So I'll be putting that video out later this month. So keep an eye on that. But what I'm showing you here is the King of Swords demands us to have a different point of view. And it's in this column here, which is judgment, the Eight of Swords, you're not stuck in this situation. It almost seems like there's balance. There's an opportunity for balance for you here, but you still seem like you're stuck. And I almost think that as the month progresses in December, you're going to feel more opportunity to move. It may be a slow draw instead of a quick, impulsive move. But with Jupiter going into your sign on 1220, I mean, that's the opportunity all of a sudden presents, it, uh, uh, presents itself. So be aware of that. Know that whatever you want is coming to you with confidence, and it will. So that's very important, Aries. All right, so let's do one more row for one more week, and then we're going to elaborate with some, well, I'm just throwing all the decks at you it's this month, so let's go ahead and do it. So let's get one more row, get a little bit more clarity, make the, you know, one individual card doesn't say it all. It's, it's the uh, collaboration of the other cards. Can I get two more cards for Aries, please? Two more cards to finish out the month. Excellent. Excellent. Hmm. Oh, wow. Know that this new beginning is coming to you. 
because things are going to be changing fast. So maybe you feel this coming on. And then the magician, I mean, what a great way to end the month. You know what I mean? We're going to be going in right before Christmas, right at the uh, winter solstice. 1223, the new, moon, the new moon is in Capricorn. So that's going to affect your 10th house. So this may be also, Aries, if you're starting a business and you've been waiting for the right time. Although, you know, it is Christmas time and the holidays and all of that in the States. What I'm saying here is it's a good time to start getting the momentum to get this forward. It seems like the funding is going to come in. The universe is going to be handing you that this opportunity, new job. If you're looking for a new job, this is it. Things are going to change fast. So get out of the, I'm stuck in this rut. I'm stuck in this rut. We're only stuck in the rut if we believe we're in it. There's always a way out of that. Your thinking is so crucial for this December to get it right. Because at the very end of the month on December 29th, Mercury goes retrograde again. So if anyone needs any clarification on Mercury retrograde, Mercury is the planet of communication. It also has to do with electronics, uh, delivery systems of any kind. Um, when it goes retrograde, which is the apparent backwards motion from our view on Earth, it causes delays. We don't want to sign any contracts during a Mer Mercury retrograde, especially at the end of December. Let's wait it out to almost the middle of January, okay? But what this is showing here is at the end of the week, that this shows this momentum. Things change here mid-month where you finally trust your intuition that this is going to work out. Jupiter rolls in, and there you are. This new opportunity is handed to you. Things change quite fast, especially if we welcome in change. So be aware of that. And the magician shows us that we are on point on creating the life that you want. You're one step closer. So Aries, have the patience in the process. It may not have panned out a few months ago, and that's okay. But it looks like things are going to have a clear, more... Uh, more detailed vision on what's going on here, but it all depends on you. You create the reality you live in. So it's very important to watch where your thoughts are and where they're focused. All right. So this month looks good. It may start with a little trying to balance things out, but as soon as Jupiter rolls in mid month, holy mo, the whole game changes for you. Really good. So let's get three cards from the psychic tarot deck. Go ahead and put those over there. Very good. Yeah, there's a great opportunity here. So if you're looking to start a job, I know that it seems like, oh my God, in the middle of December. But really, I mean, this might be the, the motivation for you to go ahead and say, yeah, I, I deserve something better. And Aries, you do deserve something better. So let's get three cards from the Psychic Tarot, please. Three cards. Thank you for the two. Can I have one more? One more, please. Oh, all right. We'll take that. All right, let's not mess this up. Okay, so we've had these come out. Foundations and achievements. Yes, you got to have. See, that's almost like the same thing as the, the justice card showing you. We've got to have foundations. Let's be grateful for our achievements. Um, this is a great time of the year to be grateful for things because we're going to have a lot of movements, choices, and decisions to make. Let's make those before the end of the month. But the thing is, and this is where these two cards, the judgment and the eight of swords comes into play because I do believe, and this is holding you back, that you're suffering in silence in some way and it's time to heal your heart. This is the heart chakra. You put your hand on your heart. It is there beating. We need to, in order to move forward, we got to stop suffering in silence. There is something, Aries, that you, that you need to take care of, something that happened in the past. And I think it's very crucial this month that you become aware of, you know what? I think it's time to move on. I think it's time to 
put my vision towards my future and in healing my heart and I think it's a I think it's a wonderful thing that the, your guides are telling you listen we're going to have a lot of choices to make and we want you to be fully on board with this but suffering in silence and feeling like you may not deserve it or you're not worthy of it has got to change so let's get three messages from your guides over here from this deck I already shuffled these up so they're nice and ready. Yeah, don't suffer in silence anymore, Aries. And you know what I'm talking about. You only know. And I hope that this reading helps you for this month to be able to move forward on that because everything is pointing to a better horizon. All right, yeah, and never judge another. And that including yourself. That's including yourself. Listen to what your guides are telling you for this month. Don't put so much judgment on yourself. Give yourself a break. You can't do everything, Aries, even though you've got the passion and the drive to do it. There's just some times where you need to step back and just let the universe work for you, you know? Stop being hasty and realize this. That's exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Abundance is your right. Claim what is being handed to you. This dream that you have, go for it. In the middle of the month, you're going to have many of opportunities to go ahead and do that. Follow the golden rule. See it in your mind, and you can hold it in your hands. That should be your motto going into next year. If I could see it in my mind and how happy and joyful it makes me, I can have it in my life because abundance is my right. And not judging yourself, saying, I am worthy and I claim my abundance. That's powerful for you this month, Aries. Good job. Now, let's take, it, let's take a look at your angel card. The angel of expression. Speak your truth and express yourself clearly. Now, at the beginning of the reading, we were talking about the full moon at the beginning of the month, December 7th, happening in your third house. There is no coincidence that you need to speak your truth. There are some things that need to be said. You're done suffering in silence. Open your heart. Do it with the highest and best. Speak with the highest and best intentions. All right? Don't do it from a place of anger. Think about what you're going to say and say it. It's time for you to express what's on your mind. Aries, things are changing for you in December, and I see you no longer judging yourself and realizing that you too can have an abundant, beautiful, joyful life, and all you have to do is claim it by saying, that's it, I'm taking it. All right, Aries, thank you so much for this lovely time that we had together. I wish you many blessings. Have a safe holiday, and we'll see you next month. Thank you.